has been portrayed in the press as having an obsession with sex, so I spoke to him recently and asked him whether he regarded this as true or not. I think um, it's a way of uh, interesting journalists who are usually obsessed with sex themselves. But certainly a lot of my work's about sex, but then isn't everybody's. Well, do you think they've blown it out of all proportion? Um, no, I don't think so. I, I just... See, I tend to use all the bad things that people say about me and try and present them in a positive way. So I find it very useful when maybe the NME or someone runs an article saying, is mum a pervert? And up to that point, I never even it's never crossed my mind that I might be a pervert in any way. But then I sort of use that for the, the next LP title or something. I mean, not specifically just to please the NME, of course, but... Uh, it's always interesting to see how others perceive you. I suppose a lot of my work is to do with trying to be private in public which sounds like something you could get arrested for, but uh, I think it's, uh, it's the only way for me to keep interested in songwriting. And it's, uh, it's something, it's just a subject I'm obsessed with, how, how, how people have to get rid of these masks which they wear, and masks, I mean, are sort of featured in the video quite a lot. And this idea that, um, this is also my concern with homosexuality. When I write on, on, on the last album, there's a lot of songs about gay people and that's because for me a gay person is the person who understands best the fact that uh, you have to wear a mask in public and who also understands that his essential nature or her essential nature is not what the mask appears to be and therefore they, they understand the disparity between the two and uh, that's something that interests me a lot. We're talking about homosexuality I've got a quote here actually that says well it's from a newspaper and you've said that um, I tend to chase lesbians because I prefer to attempt the impossible. <laughs> Do you think that life is a big challenge for you, or is that just a quote that you said? I think everybody just likes things to be that much more difficult. Um, and unrequited love is, is maybe my main hobby. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm deeply in love with a, with a lesbian at the moment. <laughs> Well, is it a big challenge for you? I mean, the whole, I don't just mean love, I just mean it's the whole thing a big challenge for you, the whole aspect of... Well, I think, actually, I mean, one reason I keep persisting with pop music is the fact that I've been sort of um, roundly rejected for the last five years by the pop establishment, the pop world, and uh, if I was suddenly accepted, if it was as easy for me as it is for Jason Donovan or something, just to, to sweep in and make a record and it goes straight to... I think, it, I would just think it was a stupid, trivial little world that I didn't have have anything to do with it, I want to have. But uh, the fact that they keep rejecting me makes me think, wonderful kind of uh, enchanted pavilion which I want the key to. Inexplicable charisma of the rival You said describe for me the hairstyle of the devil Does he make you laugh? Don't answer. Does he earn a lot? Don't answer that. Does he dress you up in black? Shut up, don't answer back. Just tell him I'm dying to meet him. Well, like, they used to call Bonnie Prince Charlie the, the Great Pretender because he was... Uh, it, originally, the word means someone who's uh, in line for the throne. So if that's what pretentious means, I wouldn't say no, but... Uh, I don't know, pretentious, you see, people... You've got to have a mythology, you've got to have a, a set of ideas to, to live by, and... Uh, Otherwise, you just you have to uh, get your ideas from News at Ten or Brookside or something. I mean, pretentious. Okay, I've read a couple of books in my time because I was lonely and, and had nothing better to do on a Friday night than sit and read Nabokov or something. I would probably have preferred to go down to the Streatham discotheque and boogie down, but uh, that's not the way my life turned out. So, if that's what pretentious means. Well, the press yeah. seems to paint this so awesome arty type of character for Momus, I mean, very literary, sceptical, cynical, very highbrow literary, whatever. Do you, I mean, do you agree with the image of you, or do you think that they've got it all wrong and it's not really you when you read back on the press bits? I think they've actually, they could have gone to town a lot more in that angle. 
because it's it's all true only more so. But uh, but you see, I think um, Jenny Holzer, the uh, the conceptual artist, um, said, um, "Protect me from what I want," and you could also say, "Protect me from what I am," or 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 let me escape from what I am. And I think that's been my my fascination with pop music that it's allowed me to escape from that side of myself because otherwise I would just have sat in the library with my legs kind of tightly crossed and kind of been been reading uh, books all the time. And pop music to me is is you know sex and life and kind of an escape from all that dustiness. <laughs> Rachel with Momus. Watch out for his great new LP very shortly. Hairstyle of the Devil, available in all good record shops very soon. Competition this week managed to secure...